Have you ever seen the variant coding section in DTS Monaco, but weren't sure what it actually does? Today, I'm gonna break it down and show you exactly how to use it the right way. Welcome back to Auto Explain. This is part five of our DTS Monaco tutorial series. In the previous videos, we showed you how to open CBF files, SMR files, and how to connect to the control units. In this part, we'll dive into one of the most powerful features inside DTS Monaco variant coding. So what is variant coding? Variant coding is a set of internal configuration parameters inside an ECU. Each parameter controls a specific function like lights, camera, radar, gearbox, or driver assist features. Think of it this way, flash programming installs the firmware while variant coding configures what features are enabled or disabled. So what is variant coding actually used for in real world diagnostics and coding? There are several key purposes. Activating hidden or disabled features, such as video in motion, Apple CarPlay, ambient lighting, or advanced lighting functions. Reconfiguring the ECU after replacement, especially when installing a new HU, IC, SAM, ABS, or radar module. Hardware retrofit support, allowing the vehicle to recognize new equipment like 360 cameras, parking sensors, or digital clusters. Region conversion, for example, converting a US spec car to EU or Asia specifications. To give you a clearer idea, let me show you how to use variant coding to disable the seat belt warning on the instrument cluster of a W213 Mercedes. Before variant coding, make sure you have NBC4 Do IP, MB Star C6, TabScan T6 Entry, TabScan T6 Elite, and a laptop running DTS Monaco and X Entry Diagnosis. I highly recommend using newer devices like the C6 or the TabScan T6 series for faster and more stable communication. Next, we open DTS Monaco and select the CBF or SMR files for the ECU we want to code. These files define the control unit structure and coding options. Select the ECU you want to work with. In this example, we start with EGS. Security access is required before writing any coding. Go to Diagnostic Services and select the security options. Now, go back to Variant Coding, select Write Mode, and read the current coding. In Variant Coding, the domain column indicates which control unit, domains, or country-specific modules are affected by the parameter. Some values may be restricted depending on your vehicle's region. To change a parameter, click on the Activate or Deactivate option. Activate enables the feature, while Deactivate disables it. Next, select the desired value from the list. In this case, we choose NAH Euro NCAP to change the seatbelt warning type. To completely disable the seatbelt warning, click Warning Deactivating. This deactivates the alert on the cluster and stops the sound. Always remember to select Do Coding and perform a hard reset at the end to apply your changes. Now, you have successfully deactivated the seatbelt warning sound. We have compiled our real-world knowledge and hands-on experience with DTS Monaco into a comprehensive book. The book DTS Monaco, Mercedes-Benz Diagnostics and Programming for Rookie, is more than just a guide to reading CDF and SMR files. It walks you step-by-step -step through the most powerful features of DTS Monaco, including vehicle diagnostics, reading and clearing fault codes, performing variant coding, and carrying out flash programming. It also explains how to use seed calc effectively and provides practical instructions on using DTS Monaco for retrofitting and unlocking hidden features on Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Whether you are a beginner or already have some experience, this book gives you the detailed, hands-on knowledge you need to master DTS Monaco in real workshop scenarios. Leave a like and subscribe to AutoExplain channel. Leave a comment if you are having problems with your car. Goodbye and see you again.